Hey everyone, this is Tim from Yorsec Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update the Victris Pro on your computer. And this is easy to do. I have the PlayStation version. And you wanna go and get the software. And this may be a little bit difficult, but if you have a computer laying around, go to your Victris and put it into the PC mode. So you're probably gonna have on PS5, go to PC. Then we're gonna update it first with the cable, USB cable. Go to USB, not wireless. Then plug a USB cable into your computer, just like this. And the controller is now connected. Now we need to go ahead and get the software. So let's go to my computer here. And then go to a URL and go to pdp.com. Really easy. Press enter. Then at the top, we're going to see Xbox, PlayStation. Go to apps. And get the Victris Control Hub. Not the PDP one. This is something else. Go to Victris, otherwise you won't be able to update your controller. So select this. You're going to see uh, the PlayStation, the Xbox versions right here going down. It's going to be blue. And then go to where it says download app right here. Select this. And go to install. And install this on your computer. Then when you connect your controller, it's going to automatically start updating. Now you're going to want to do this with the dongle as well. and. If it doesn't update, you can go to update right here and force it to update. So mine is up to date. So do this with the dongle too. So you got the dongle, plug this into the computer, go to the back of your controller, switch it to the wireless mode, and then you can disconnect the USB cable. And if you go back to the app now, this will update the dongle as well. So you need to update the USB and update the dongle. Then you can go through here and configure everything. Now, if this doesn't work and the controller is not connected, well, you can watch another one of my videos. Otherwise, I'll just show you. So this little support page is going to open up. Um, you you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to this little file right here, Victris Compatibility, and download this. And this is going to be in your download somewhere. Open this up and run it. And it's going to add a file to your registry. And your controller should work after that. Otherwise, you can go to Task Manager. Maybe Steam is using your controller right now. And that's why it's not working. But go to Startup Apps. And just disable all your startup apps and restart your computer. So Steam could be using your controller right now. Origin could be using your controller. Something could be using your controller in the background. And it's not letting you use your controller with the app because it's used in another place, essentially. So disable everything you can restart your computer, then just make sure you have the right setting on on your controller. And it should be detected, mine is, but that registry was the one that uh, fixed mine when I downloaded that file and ran it. But you should be good to go now, but hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.